Welcome to Datalink's Warehouse Management Solution for Sage ELP X3. This video will demonstrate product inquiry, purchase order receipt and location transfer. So we'll start with the product inquiry. To do a product inquiry uh, we just choose that uh, menu option and then scan or enter the barcode of the product. This will then bring up a, a full product description and we can look at uh, the batch details or the status of that particular product. For this demonstration we'll look at the batch details and you'll notice that we can look at the batch details by location, first in first out or first expiry first out. So we've chosen to look at batch details by location and the handheld menu then changes to a list view which I can scroll across and up and down to see the full details of the batch information for that particular product. Okay, Now we're going to have a look at purchase order receipts. So we'll go back to the main menu and we'll choose purchase order receipts. Okay, We can select the purchase order by supplier, order number or product. For this demonstration we'll do it by supplier. We can scan uh, a barcode of the supplier which may be on the product as it comes in or we can enter supplier using the keypad. Again, this will move us to a list view, which I can scroll up and down. And you'll notice that I'm expanding the field here to find the purchase order number that I've just created. And there it is, and we'll just select that one. And then that will bring up the details of that particular purchase order and take me through the process of receiving that purchase order. So it's brought up full details so that I can verify the information is correct and that I can then choose the quality status of that product. I've chosen to accept that and it will then prompt me to enter the amount that I'm receiving. I'm going to put in 5 and then it will give me a summary of the purchase order receipt that I've just done to verify all of the information is correct. And All I need to do is confirm that as I've just done and then I can go back into transactions in ERP X3 and instantaneously that information will be in ERP X3. So we'll look at those transactions by date. Just select the correct site. Let's look at the transactions for. Okay, and you can see the top line 26 inch rim road, five of those have been accepted. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to want to do will be a location transfer. So we choose the location transfer option and then we can simply scan the barcode of the product and then that will bring up information on the product that I've just scanned, a description and then we can scan the source location that we want to move that from which was the dock. We're going to move all five of those. Okay. The handheld will then suggest uh, a location for us to move that to and once we arrive at the location we can verify that we've put it there and then we will get a transaction summary and once we confirm that that will reflect back into ERP X3. If you would like any more information on how Datalinks Warehouse Manager X3 can improve your warehouse efficiency call Datalinks or visit our website.